This is the last video in our little series. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the simple adjustments that you can change to enhance your photos. Take a moment to open the document called Part 5, Simple Photo Adjustments, and follow the first set of instructions. What I'm teaching you is the most that you can do to a photo without changing it from pure photography to a new form of artwork. This should be a very quick tutorial. We have talked a lot about the toolbox and the option bar and the floating palette. The adjustments that I'm going to show you can be found in more than one place, but I'm going to show you how to do it through the menu bar at the top of your screen. Take a look at the image below. You can see that it has several problems. First, it's pretty dark. Second, the colors look pretty dull. And last, if you look really close, you can see that the image is very noisy. Noise is the fuzz that you see on the image. All these dots on the faces and on the furniture in the background. Let's take a look at these issues one at a time. First you want to make sure that the colors in the image are bright. This can be done by changing the levels of your image. Now to do this you're going to go to Image, Adjustments, and you always want to make sure you're on the right layer. Right now it's telling me that I can't make any adjustments. That's because I'm on a group layer. So I'm going to change to Sample Fix Photo. And now you can get to Adjustments and Levels. Let me move my pop-up here so that you can see. What you have here is called a histogram, and it controls the colors in this image. The image only really has three colors in different intensities, red, green, and blue. That's why they call it an RGB. We're going to change the colors one at a time. So if I click on red, you can see that it's slightly different. You want to move these edge triangles all the way into the edge of the histogram. And you can see that it changes the color in the image. As I change each color, it will change the color that I have selected. So now I'm going to move this all the way to the edge of the histogram. And lastly, the blue one. The reason why we do these one at a time is because each one is slightly different and this will give us the best possible color in the photo. Now to quickly see what we've done, I'm just going to click on the preview button and as I do that, you can see a drastic difference in between the two. And click OK. A lot of times the levels adjustment will also brighten your image, which you can see, but I'm going to zoom out a little bit more and we might want to brighten it a little bit more. We've got some dark areas here on the young man. So if you need to brighten your image a bit more, you're going to go to Image, Adjustment, and Brightness, Contrast. And we can move the brightness pop-up as well. And these sliders are what you're going to use to brighten the image. You're not going to want to go too far because that will make it look unnatural. We only want it to move so it brightens the image and doesn't make it look unnatural. You can play around with the contrast as well. And again, you don't want to go too far either direction. I think we're going to want to go a little bit this direction. You really don't want to bring it up any higher than, oh, maybe 30 either way on either of these sliders. And again, let's preview and see what we've got. And I think that that helps. And click OK. Now take a minute and complete the second and third set of instructions. 